안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Welcome to j u n b a n g Channel. Bye bye. <laughs> so today we're gonna do our best buy in 2020. c h u n b a n g version. Okay, so let's start with the third one. Okay. Top. Okay, for me, my best buy mm. is right here. One that you can see in frame. This is mine. Okay. So this is a Razer microphone. It's called Razer Siren X. Actually, we were thinking between buying the Siren Mini and Siren X, but when I was checking it out, I was thinking, why don't we just go for the better one? And yeah, upon the recommendation of our editor, we decided on this one. It's pretty, uh, can't say it's cheap, but it's quite affordable compared to other better ones. And yeah, I actually got it on good deal. Okay, but first going back to the reason why I buy I decided to buy this is because you know we've been doing a lot of YouTube contents, right? Mm -hmm. And we found out that uh, audio really does matter and it's been annoying with the technical issues and stuff. We had to redo a lot of videos just because of the audio. So yeah, I think a um, good microphone would really be help helpful. Yeah, and this one, as I know, is uh, really good for the live streaming. Yeah, and we were actually wanting to... We tried doing live streaming, but without a really good mic, it's quite impossible. Yeah, anyways, our live, nobody watch, but if somebody watch, they will hear good audio. Nasi padang try, baby. So that's your third pick. Yeah, good audio, baby. Okay, so my third pick is this one. This bad boy, Adidas Nemesis. I didn't use it yet, so this bad boy is the newest model of Nemesis, uh, Nemesis 19.1 FG, which means firm ground. And why I picked this is that I'm really soccer fanatic, so I play two times every week at least. Time to time, I need soccer shoes, but it's really expensive. Yeah, he actually changed his shoes a lot. Actually, on average, you actually buy at uh, six to seven shoes a year. Uh, these days, like four. Five. These days, four to five because of pandemic. Anyways, like I don't really buy that much of higher spec, but this one I bought it because it was a really good deal because of Black Friday, which my wife let me know from Singapore. So normal price is around three hundred Singapore dollar, yeah. but I got forty percent discount because of Black Friday. So. I saved 120 Singapore dollars. Sweet! Which means I can buy one more foot size shoes. Smart, right? This is a really good buy. I mean, like, it's really rare to be able to buy new arrivals on such a discounted price. Yeah, normally the higher spec one, they don't really give discount. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's move on. What is your second pick? All right, moving on to my second pick is a stuff that I really, we both use daily. Hold your horses. Okay. This. <laughs> Nespresso Essenza Plus. Okay, let's put it behind us. So yes, that was my second pick. It's a Nespresso Essenza Plus machine. So I got this Nespresso for his birthday because he's avid coffee drinker. He actually drinks at least two to three cups of coffee, mostly um, dark or black coffees. Yeah, Americano. Americano. That's, Minum Americano. That's Korea. Uh, you can think Americano is a Korean traditional drink. <laughs> No, it's not. Everybody drinks. Because of him, I also drink a lot of coffee. On average, maybe two cups a day. So we buy out a lot. And I was thinking, why not just get a coffee machine? And since Nespresso is really uh, useful, you can just pop in the capsules and voila, yeah, you get really the coffee. Easy. Uh, I bought it at something like $297 or $300, I forgot. It's from Singapore as well. Because I cannot find Essenza Plus in Indonesia, that's really quite a shame, but yeah. Yeah, I also thought it's really good deal because uh, when you think of the Starbucks coffee. Exactly. Yeah. One Starbucks coffee, let's say the normal one, it will be something like tiga, tiga ribu. Well, Americano, I think it's something like, wait, 30, 37 dollars. 
thousand or forty thousand for a grande cup. Whereas for one capsule of Nespresso coffee, it's about seven thousand to ten thousand rupiah. So the price difference is pretty big. And for us who drink that much of coffee, it actually saves us a lot of money. A lot of money. Seriously. And this guy, he's been using it a lot, so I'm really happy with the buy. Yeah, I use it every day, so I can think it's really fast one. Where is it? Yeah, worth it. Yeah, you could be my first, but you took it, so. What about yours? Where's mine? Oh, <laughs> mine! I'm shooting, <gasps> shooting it with it right now. This is the GoPro Hero. GoPro 8 Hero. Yeah, Hero. GoPro. Yeah. Go, go, GoPro. GoPro Hero 8. Hero 8 Black. GoPro Hero 8 Black. Once again, one, two, three. GoPro, GoPro Hero, Hero 8. Black. Yeah, anyways, uh, the price was around 8 juta mm. and we bought it from Shopee and they offer like some accessories like it's not original one but uh, have the case and uh, case like this and there's uh, so there's many accessories mm -hmm. inside and like including the, the underwater, water, case. underwater case uh, anti waterproof case whatever yeah anyways the, when you use it for diving and the hairband yes. most importantly the hairband is really uh, fascinating if you like to do the outdoor activity the GoPro might be the one of the best choice you can take exactly and uh, for me especially I told you I really love playing soccer and uh, I use it on my head put the GoPro here and then I can see how I play. Oh, for monitoring purpose. Yeah, for monitoring purpose, also like making video like... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really just perfect choice. The so, quality yeah. also is really good. And it's compact. Mm. So that was my second pick. Alright! Oh, now, coming down to our last and our best, best decision. Pick. Best pick in 2020. So for me, my last and best purchase of 2020 was a purchase of great experience yes so um i went diving at philippines bohol with my husband and my sister-in-law brother-in-law four of us to be honest i wasn't really happy about the whole trip before i went there because she's a I, coward yeah more than a coward <laughs> i kind of have anxiety for especially when i go down the water i tried recreational diving once but i was having hard time to breathe so I couldn't really go down the water it took me very long so yeah I wouldn't I wouldn't say I had trauma but it was really hard um, but thankfully this place that we went at Bohol mm. the training center was really professional and the instructors were really good so the class were was really intensive because we took uh, advanced water diving license oh yeah it means that we can dive up to 40 meters and like the class was about five days we had to wake up at 8 be in the water and then like we stopped at 3 p.m. and we have to take written test again yeah it was really intense class like yeah. if you go there you will not think it as trip yeah it's more like training it's military drill I'm yeah. not lying seriously so at night uh, maybe if you want to play or not you just get exhausted yeah. and just, just fell asleep sleep. yeah so yeah, even for somebody who's like sporty as him, says it's hard, let alone me. It's tough. So yeah, I had to deal a lot physically and mentally, but when I managed to get down the water, mm. it was such a great memory and experience. So I was really proud of myself and it, it was the beginning of the year. Uh, during that trip, I found a lot of new side of me and to me, that's something that money cannot buy. Yeah, it was short but really meaningful. I think of j including the course, each of us spent something like 15 million mm. for that five days. Super worth it and especially the the shop we went for uh -huh. training, uh -huh. it was really great place because yeah, as really I know, place. as I know like there are many other shops, they just give it too easy, the license too yes. easy. Yes. And it's really dangerous. Underwater, anything can happen. The name is Deeper Dive Inc. You can find it on Google, I think. It's on Philippines, Bohol Island. That place, is, that place offers really many diving sites as well. Beautiful, by the way. So you should really try it. And I really recommend it for another reason because it's really good for overcoming your fears. Once you have managed to do it, believe me, 
Seriously. So my best pick on 2020 is this bad boy. Ah, maybe, the rice cooker. Maybe some people already know this brand. Some people maybe not. I think uh, Indonesian friends are not really familiar with this brand. This is a kuku, a rice cooker from Korea. It's super famous. Yes. Not only in Korea, but also like in China. So many Chinese people, when they come to Korea, they buy this and bring it to their country. They do. They really do. A lot of people, I can say. So the price of this machine uh, is pretty higher spec one. Mm. So it's around 8 juta. Is it including shipping fee? Because we actually purchased this one directly from Korea. Yeah. Uh, including the shipping fee, yeah, 8 juta. Yeah. Uh, why I think it's worth is because in Asian culture, including Indonesia, we eat rice every day. <laughs> in this house, currently, like there are six, seven people mm -hmm. living in this house. Everybody eat rice every day. Mm -hmm. So that means how many meals like that this bad boy need to cook. And the taste of the rice is actually pretty different. It's really different. Yeah. It's really different. So every people who come to our place and uh, try this rice, they say, it's different. Even my grandmother likes it because mm. uh, you can just use um, locally grown rice mm. here and the rice will still turn shiny. I don't know how you do it, Kuku! So for me, I think uh, for new the people who are about to get married, like newly what? Yeah, new marriage couple. Mm -hmm. Uh, I would highly recommend this brand. Kuku. Well, you don't have to get this higher, this high spec because this is actually um, ten cups the yeah. capacity. You can easily get something that can do six cups. Yeah, six cups or three to four cups. So price uh, is from tiga juta to something like dua belas juta. Mm. So you can choose within that range, and it's not gonna disappoint you. Yeah. Mm. I think before I know rice cookers from Korea, I wouldn't imagine spending more than 2 million for rice cooker. <laughs> but turns out it's worth it. My mom loves it. Yeah. It's really sweet. He actually got this from my mother. Best son-in-law ever. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's kind of like our version of Best Buy in 2020. We've spent some money, yes. Yeah, it's something like 55 juta. Yeah. But I think we spent less than last year because we didn't get to travel much. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, personally because I didn't really get to shop a lot this year. But yes, I think it's a really good experience. Yeah, it was worth. It. Most mm -hmm. of the costs uh, are from the trip to Philippines. Yeah. It was really good memory and it was really worth it. It was really a awakening trip for me. <laughs> so yeah, the rest of the stuff we still use often despite of the pandemic since we always stay at home yeah. and if you are asian buy this bad boy highly recommend this one <laughs> anyways <laughs> i didn't get paid from them i think a lot of people because of pandemic made a lot of maybe have made some unnecessary purchase yeah. <laughs> but we wish you best of luck yeah. i still hope that Whatever you shop for this year may be good use for you and we'll see you in the next video.